Hey guys, today we are going through a basic installation and configuration of PyHome with DNS over HTTPS upstream. Before we start, your PyHome needs a static IP. Set it preferable in your firewall via static DHCP entry. If you can do that, set a static IP in your config. We'll install PyHole on Debian 12. If you install it on another hardware OS, you might need to change some stuff. During installation on a Py0, I noticed there's some errors with the repository and the dev packages of the cloud for the agent. So instead of using these, you have to download the binary directly. We add the Cloudflare GPG key. And on the repo. Now we can do an up update. and install Cloudfairly. Check the installation with Cloudfairly-v and we see Cloudflare is installed. Add a new Cloudflare user. Create a config file under etc default Cloudflare D and paste the following line. This sets the upstream DNS server via HTTPS. In this case, Cloudflare's 1.1.1.1 and 1.0.0.1 and the local port the agent is listening on. Save the file, change the permission and the owner of the file. To run it, we will create a service under etc systemd system cloudfd.service. Paste the following in the file. Save. I will add a second agent for quad 19 as servers. If you don't want to do this, just skip this step. Now we refresh our services with systemctl daemon reload. And you can start and enable the services. The services are running and green, so we can finally start the PyHole installation. Start by executing the one-step PyHole install script. In my network, DNS to the outside is blocked, so I need to run it with the skip OS check tag. We will hit OK. Free content only survives with your donation, so if you can, please consider donating to PyHole and hit OK. I already set a static IP in my firewall, so I continue. For DNS upstream provider, we will use our just created Cloudflare D agents. Choose custom. and set the following.
This will use the local IP address at port 50, 53 and 5054 for DNS provider. This will set the DNS provider to our local machine port 5053 and port 5054 where our Cloudflare agents are running. Check if the settings are correct and continue with yes. Steven Blake's list is a good way to start, so yes, we want to install it. We also want to install the web interface, so yes and yes. I will enable query logging, so I hit yes and I select show everything. The installation is now complete. You don't have to save the password, we just set a new one. For that, type pyhole-a-p and enter your own secure password. Okay, now go to your browser and open the web GUI under HTTP your pyhole IP slash admin. Log in with the password you set. And go to settings, DNS. Scroll down and check use DNS sec. I will also disable the rate limiting because all my queries come from the same IP. So I set both values to zero and hit save. Okay, we can now add our block lists. Go to our add list. Add the URL of the list and I also will add a comment. Hit add. If you added all your lists, we need to update the gravity service. So block lists take effect. For that, go to tools, update gravity, and hit update. Don't leave the site until it's done. You also can do that in the shell with pyhole-g. When it's done, you see information about the performed action, like the number of the domain on each block list. The block lists are now active. To disable a list again, go to Add List and just toggle the status or delete the whole list. To add your own local DNS entries, go to local DNS, DNS records. Here you can add your entries. To show you, I will add a DNS record for the pie hole. And the IP address. Until it. We have now a local DNS record, and to try it out, we will ping it in the shell. And you see the name got resolved to the IP address. If you need more advanced DNS entries, like more than one IP address for DNS load balancing, you have to do that in the shell. Create a file under etc dnsmask.d and for the name I do 
www.thedomain.conf. Each entry will begin with host-record equals fqdn, IP. Save the file. We then have to restart the PyHole FT alt service. You can then test the entries in Windows via NSLOOKUP or in the shell via the dig command. And we see we get two IP addresses back. You successfully installed PyHole with a DOH upstream server, so your external requests are secured by HTTPS. Now you only need to tell your clients or your firewall to use PyHole as DNS server and you're done. That's it for now and I'll see you next time.